السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب بهترین سرزمین کربلا 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 السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته My name is Ustad Adam Aslam I'm a Muslim chaplain based at the Mill Hill Chapel in the city of Leeds I'm also a freelance educator a researcher and also a, a, a coordinator of a youth related pro project. My background is in the youth sector and also within the refugee communities. And I'm here as a Sunni Muslim experiencing my first Arba'in pilgrimage. <laughs> I think in terms of my first experience, it was absolutely amazing. This ziyarat is something which is very important in both strands of Islam and people like to critique pilgrimage and say that it's becoming much easier now to go on pilgrimage and to have ease. The challenge of spending three days away from a city, three days away from a bed, three days away from access to the basic amenities, to be on our feet constantly in the way of the Imams, in the way of the Sahaba, in the way of the old school uh, Musafirs and to really be challenged spiritually and mentally was for me an amazing opportunity for both my heart and my soul. The theory is something we learnt about in Hawza but to actually experience it, anyone can experience Arba'een and I did not know what I was going to expect. I was not expecting the relationships I would build, the friendships I would make, the people that I would meet and I learned a lot about myself in terms of self-determination and the ability to just sort of keep going and to really recognize the weaknesses but also the strengths of what it means to be a human being or a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's been a really fun exercise. Uh, my own colleagues in Jama'at joke saying that I am a Sunni Imam who quite often preaches or works with our Shia neighbors and this Muharram, I was invited to watch a Facebook Live. I saw His Eminence Sheikh Jafar Ladakh, who is somebody who I've observed on YouTube and some of his articles in the past. Um, an exceptional young scholar and I felt it necessary, wajib, for me to come and meet the Sheikh. And also because both of our Shia communities in Leeds were having a large joint um, Ashura, I wanted to come and explore the traditions for myself, to go beyond the assumptions and in the process I feel that I found a friend in Sheikh Jafar that by the fourth, fifth night of Ashura he was dining at my home, he was in the company of my brother and my mother and we have already started exchanging ideas in terms of articles, pieces of research and potential projects and on Sheikh's last day after Jum'ah um, after being slightly late, well we're both Imams what you expect on a Friday, Sheikh popped the question and it wasn't a question I was expecting that would I like to accompany him on the Arba'in which I know for him is an extremely special opportunity so to even consider me worthy is something that I take as a great um, appreciation from his eminence and in such I was invited to come along and the rest is history that I've been here on this pilgrimage hand in hand with his eminence and a Jama'ah of majority Shia Muslims but also a few Sunni Muslims and people who are between identities, just being united by the love of Hussein. I've heard the Maktal since I was a child. I've had Shia friends and Shia neighbors, but the pinnacle of what brings the Shia community's faith together and what brings the unity bridge between Sunnah and Shi'i is love of Ahlul Bayt and paining for the death and destruction that took place to them. And so 
I felt it was a no-brainer. I had to come along and I had to accept his invitation. I think it's very important to understand that there is a long political and theological challenge or sets of challenges that have taken place and we don't truly know something until we experience it. Um, we can be told something and many assumptions can be built up to the extent where my Shi'i friends were telling me things that they were taught about Sunnis that were just hilarious to say the least. And at the same time, there were assumptions that even I had, questions, challenges, issues that I had. And for me, it's human interactions, you know, ta'arif, Allah Ta'ala has created distinction difference within us. So that A, there's that inquisitive mindset, but B, there's that desire, that instinct to want to question and to come together and to try to understand one another. Whether it works or doesn't work, we leave that to the will of Allah. But as Sheikh said, the important thing is akhlaq. One can only assume. You can only assume. You know, I saw, I went all over YouTube and Instagram and social media. I, caught, I have some young, young Shias who are team leaders within my youth projects. I was asking them, trying to speak to their parents. I was asking people, trying to build this picture, questioning Sheikh Jafar, questioning one of our honorable sisters who's managing the projects. And no matter how many pictures I had, videos I watched, things I observed, things I heard, it could not compare to the pain my own feet felt, the beating of my own heart, the panting of my own breath, the physical reality of just exploring this project. Oh yeah, there's going to be a long motorway, you're going to walk down it, and people are going to be chanting Ya Hussein. That was quite literally all I expected. But to see after several wars, wars that I studied only a few years ago as a, as a degree student at university, these victims of these same wars opening their hearts for the love of Ahlul Bayt, for the love of the Messenger of Allah and His flag, feeding us, honoring us, People from all around the world with their various banners sleeping in extremely simplistic uh, accommodation but being so loving, being so understanding. There were certain motives that we went into where I felt like I was in Pakistan, I was in East Africa, I was in Sham because of how open people were, how open they were with their food and their blankets and their, and their love. And quite often people recognize that this guy kind of looks sunny, he's wearing a lot more white than most of us are and yet I receive so much love and affection.